أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وبارك وسلم يرسول السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Once again uh, I welcome you all uh, to another session of our online video lecture series uh, It's lecture number 3 of chapter number 2 in this lecture, we'll have discussion on audit notebook and audit working papers. Audit notebook and audit working papers, both of them are considered to be one of the most important documents of the auditing process, or uh, they are called the evidences of the audit work and are considered one of the most important audit evidences for the auditor himself. These important documents show uh, how an audit process was carried out, how perfect an audit uh, process was, and uh, how uh, standard a, an audit process was carried out by the auditor. Basically, these two important documents and evidences provide, provide the basis for audit decision making or in other words we, we can say uh, they provide the basis for audit report. It means that based on the no audit notebook and audit working papers these two important documents auditor can reach to a strong and solid conclusion and can then report his opinion uh, ha having a very strong foundation in the form of an audit report. So that's why we will discuss uh, these important documents in our today's lecture. Right? So audit notebook is basically A notebook or a file we can say a file maintained by the auditor audit notebook is a file which is maintained by the auditor so at the start of the audit process this file is empty there is nothing in this file when an audit process starts auditor collects starts collecting the evidences and the important documents and impor important information related to the audit process or related to the accounting record and accounting information which is the under uh, which is under the audit of the uh, auditor for certain periods so the auditor start collecting the uh, evidences regarding the uh, accounting record and accounting information so the first documents or evidence that an auditor keeps in this file or puts in this file are the important information of, uh, of the organization which is being audited by the auditor, right? And that important information or documents could be the uh, documents or information related to organizations operations related to organizations uh, um, uh, performance related to organizations key input uh, key staffs uh, name list of names and uh, the TOR, TOR of the key uh, key staff and uh, rights and responsibilities of the key staff uh, and the previous audit report, uh, the, uh, if the previous, if previously the company or the business is uh, audited by another auditor, so a copy of that previous audit report is also obtained from the organization. So these are a few important information in in documents that an auditor obtains from the organization before starting its uh, audit and keeps them in 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 the file, which is called the audit notebook right so it can be defined as a record usually maintained 
in recording audit containing data on work done and comments made so an audit notebook usually contains three types of information so the first type of information is recording audit all the information which is recorded during the audit process so that information is kept in form of uh, paper within the audit file or audit notebook auditors carry out work on daily basis each day they have a plan uh, and they list out the activities that they will carry out on that specific day so the copy of those uh, uh, copy of the list of those activities that the auditor is carrying out each day that copy of the list is also kept in this uh, file in this audit file or audit notebook so on everyday basis all the recording of those list of activities is put in this file second type of inf information in this uh, audit file or audit notebook is containing data on work done what work is done what kind of uh, evidences has been, have been collected so related to work done all the information is also kept in this file auditors uh, do different type types of activities on daily basis so the record of those activities is also kept in this file and the third type of information that is kept in this file is comments made comments made by the auditor comments made by the company under audit or comments made by the third party so all that information is also kept in this file audit notebook contains information regarding the day to day, uh, regarding the day to day work performed by the aud audit staff notes about errors explanations required so once again the same three type of in types of information that we earlier discussed they are also uh, uh, they can be in other words we can say uh, that that those three types of information is the day-to-day -day work performed by the auditor number two notes about the errors number three explain explanation required or take uh, obtained from the organization from the third parties so mainly these three types of information uh, is uh, kept in the audit file in the audit notebook the auditor can use it as an authentic evidence in the court if there is any case against him as earlier discussed audit notebook is one of the most important documents and evidences or authentic evidences uh, which an auditor has with himself if someone puts a case against the auditor saying that the order process was not uh, completed perfectly or according to the standards then this audit file or this audit notebook can back or can support the claim of the auditor and it could be an authentic evidence because all the information all the uh, 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 work done by the auditor the record of that is kept in this file so this file can show how perfectly an audit process was carried out by this auditor and how uh, how strong the audit was uh, carried out and how uh, uh, what procedures and uh, what standards were followed by the auditor in short we can say that an audit notebook is a very important document very important file uh, which is uh, prepared by the auditor uh, which contains the record of all the day-to-day -day, uh, work performed by the audit staff notes about the errors explanations required uh, and comments taken from different people of the organization in third party an audit notebook should be preserved by the auditor as it contains valuable information in respect of the work done by him and his staff 
here uh, we saw that there are two times the word ordered stuff is used one hair and one hair so it basically it means that the audit process is not a one-man job the audit process is not carried out by one person so it, rather it's carried out by a group of people this group of people who takes care of the audit process is called audit staff usually this group of people are led by a one person who is called the auditor the auditor's main responsibility is to give instructions to his team usually three to five people uh, distribute tasks among these three to five people and uh, distribute responsibilities to each individual uh, so there is no duplication of work and so the audit process is uh, carried out continuously uh, systematically and according to the standards so that's why audit process is carried out by a group of people uh, that is called audit team or audit staff and this audit team or audit staff is led by the auditor the auditor is usually someone with uh, extensive experience uh, in the audit uh, uh, field uh, who is member of the professional bodies having hundreds and, and thousands of hours of experience in the field of audit right so that's why he leads the entire team and all the work which is carried out by the audit staff the main responsibility or the, uh, the person who is mainly responsible uh, for the work carried out by the audit staff is the auditor himself right so auditor is always there to guide his team and to give them tasks and then to review and recheck the tasks in the work done by the audit staff so that's why their audit the word audit staff is used okay now let's talk about the contents of the audit notebook or, or audit file contents means what information is basically uh, saved or put in the audit file or the audit notebook number one is nature of business and important documents such as memorandum of association moa means memorandum of association aoa means articles of association or partnership deed okay so first of all nature of business all the important documents related to business registration license etc the copy of all that information is uh, uh, obtained by the auditor from the company also important documents which are memorandum of association and articles of association and partnership deed remember these three are main important informations Partnership deed is for all the businesses who are partnership businesses. Articles of association and memorandum of association, they are related to limited liability companies and the corporations, right? Partnership deed is basically uh, an important document or, 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 or the document based on which uh, partnership business is carried out, where the rights and obligations of the partners the profit and loss sharing percentages in different types of partners and partnerships natures are dis discussed and uh, decided within the partnership deed articles of association it's basically the important document which talks about uh, the uh, the the ownership of business uh, that who is basically the shareholder about the shareholders of the business about the nature of the activities that the business will be carrying out uh, and all that information is mentioned in the articles of association memorandum of association is basically uh, there are rules and regulations how about how the business is carried out how each uh, uh, activity of the business how e each objective uh, of the business will be carried out uh, in what way so basically articles of association is before for external people 
uh, and a memorandum of association is before internal people of the organization so these are most important documents number two list of books of accounts auditor takes a copy of all the uh, list of all the books of accounts uh, which are uh, kept by the uh, company or the business for example we have ledger we have uh, cash book we have uh, daily uh, there, there are different types of uh, uh, journals daily journals uh, there there is pretty cash so different uh, in organization uh, looking at its nature and requirements keeps different types of journals uh, so and also uh, ledgers so the auditor uh, uh, takes a list of all those books of accounts that a company normally uh, has maintained and uh, has worked in or has kept uh, during a course of time list of officials their duties and responsibilities here list of all the employees and especially those of the key employees their duties and responsibilities copy of the audit program previously if uh, this uh, co company or business has been audited by the previous auditor a copy of uh, previous audit report and also a copy of the audit program uh, audit program is basically audit plan which is prepared by the previous auditor a copy of that is also obtained by the auditor from this business information on missing receipts vouchers uh, de details of errors and this and errors discovered during the audit process explanation sought from the officials different uh, there is a need of explanation uh, from the company from the management of the company so auditor uh, takes this uh, for example auditor sometimes has a doubt on something so there is a question in order to solve their question in auditor's mind he seeks explanation from the company uh, so the company provides him explanation regarding that specific issue a copy of that is also kept in the audit notebook point to be included in the audit report on a daily basis when auditor is uh, performing his work they note down different types of uh, uh, different uh, 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 points uh, which are uh, very important to be mentioned or to be discussed within the audit report so they are noted down on daily basis or maybe wherever uh, the auditor thinks or remembers something that is very important to be mentioned later on in the audit report so that point is written down on a page and duly documented uh, within the audit notebook when I say duly documented it means that on that specific day it's printed out there is stamps signs and signatures and there is a date on that paper and that is kept within the audit file or audit notebook okay so that was all about the audit notebook audit notebook contains uh, these eight different types of information uh, which can be grouped these eight types of information uh, can be grouped into three which we previously discussed recording audit containing data on work done comments or in other words we can say uh, information regarding day-to-day -day work performed by the audit by the auditor and his staff notes about the errors and explanations required so those eight types of information is categorized into these three categories mentioned in point number one and point number two right okay now let's talk about the audit working papers audit working papers is basically each individual information or piece of paper that is kept within the audit file or within the audit notebook each single paper or information is called audit working papers so a set of ordinary working papers results into the audit notebook right so uh, let's uh, uh, talk about it in further details Audit working papers are those documents or work papers which contain essential facts about accounts which are being audited. As I earlier discussed, these are basically each and every single paper or document which is kept in the audit notebook and contains very in 
important information factual information about the accounting record and accounting information which is the uh, which is under the audit right so uh, it can be defined as the file of analysis summaries comments and correspondence which build up by the auditor during course of audit so all the information which is obtained by the auditor during the audit process and that could be analysis sheets prepared by the auditor and his staff summaries of uh, uh, in information or summaries of uh, different types of uh, 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 documents or information prepared by the audit auditor and his uh, his team comments uh, made by the auditor and his team and comments taken uh, from the uh, management of the organization or from third parties and also correspondence between the auditor and his team and between the audit and his team to the uh, management of the organization or to the people outside third parties of the organization the auditor maintains papers as supporting evidence uh, to the audit work as i earlier mentioned that auditor they plan their activities on daily basis so on each day they know uh, that they they have to carry out a specific uh, uh, course of actions to so the record of those specific actions uh, th that they will carry out on a specific day they uh, duly document that uh, uh, sort of activities on a piece of paper and that is put within the audit file and that specific piece of information or piece of paper is called audit working paper the institute of Char uh, the institute of Char chartered accountants of india states that an auditor is expected to maintain evidence of work done by him and his staff like it is uh, statutory to the auditor it's must uh, for the auditor to maintain record of all uh, uh, tasks and work that he carries out during a course of audit so by law auditors are required to maintain such information so each and every single piece of paper and information is audit working paper paper and the set of the combination of all that information uh, which is kept by the auditor as audit working papers in a single file that becomes the audit notebook or audit file usually audit working papers contains copy of trial balances schedule of debtors and creditors reconciliation statements important correspondences so all that information each and every single information which we discussed there that is audit working paper right audit working paper could be a copy of trial balance it could be a copy of the list of debtors and and and, and creditors it could be reconciliations it, uh, statements it could be correspondences so all each and every single information which is important to uh, authenticate the audit uh, process is audit working paper remember that order working paper should be clear complete and contain the necessary information so that that may not be of uh, so that they may, they may be of maximum utility remember that each and everything cannot be an audit working paper there are some requirements for a piece of paper or for a piece of information to become an audit working paper and that requirement is number one it should be clear and complete number two this sh should contain very important information very necessary information right that information which is of maximum utility right and the other working papers should be properly organized they should be documented duly and signed in this regard it is said that an auditor is often judged by the quality of audit working papers prepared by him under his guidance. As I earlier mentioned, that audit working paper in audit notebook, they are very important information. They basically show how an auditor has carried out an audit work, how organized, how well standard, how deep, how strong an audit process has been carried out. So all this is shown by the audit notebook and audit working paper audit working papers are confidential documents hence the auditor should not disclose that uh, the facts to others 
doing so results in unprofessional and professionalism and professional conduct so as the uh, art information uh, audit notebook and our working papers contain very essential and important information so art is required not to leak them out to others but to preserve and and, and save them very uh, uh, secretly uh, if an auditor discloses such information then there is a professional misconduct uh, it's called professional misconduct and there could be a case against a case against the auditor working papers should be preserved properly because they contain in uh, they are important information and they contain uh, necessary information and secret information about an organization okay so that was all about the audit notebook in audit working papers um, now let's talk about the purpose of maintaining audit notebook in audit working papers and uh, you'll be now thinking why this audit notebook in audit uh, working papers are or, or maintained why there is uh, the need for maintaining uh, these two important documents there are uh, five main reasons of maintaining audit working papers in audit notebook number one to show the extent to which accounting principles and auditing standards have been applied by the auditor in the process of the audit number two they provide the required support for the audit auditor's report as I earlier at the beginning of the lecture I mentioned that they are supporting documents for the auditor to reach to a strong conclusion and then present his opinion in the audit report they also reveal the efficiency with which the audit work was done it they, these uh, two important documents show uh, how efficient and effective and how strong and deep the audit work was carried out by the auditor they can all be used as an evidence in the court to defend himself against negligence in his duty if someone um, uh, complains about the auditor uh, that the auditor has neglected his duties and has not performed the audit work properly now then the auditor can present his audit work or we can say audit notebook or audit working papers in the court to show that he has done his duty perfectly they help the auditor in finalizing his report quickly without maintaining the audit notebook in audit working papers uh, it's not possible for an auditor to reach to a very strong and solid conclusion quickly effectively and efficiently right okay uh, as we know that audit notebook and audit working papers are very very important documents which are maintained to serve these five main objectives now there the question comes that who is basically the owner of the audit working papers in audit notebook right so there have been multiple ca uh, cases in, in on multiple occasions this was under the uh, discussion and under the disagreement between the company and the auditor so most of the times the company believed that this uh, basically uh, these audit working papers and audit notebook contain the information related to the uh, company so they are the ownership of the company so auditor is not uh, supposed to hold them but uh, we earlier discussed that they can present on the other hand they can present uh, they can be an authentic evidence uh, for the auditor to uh, to show his uh, work that he has worked perfectly so on the other hand auditors claim uh, that these uh, uh, basically as they were prepared by the auditor during the audit work in mm, these uh, important documents can help the auditor uh, uh, defend himself in the future uh, so they are the basically the ownership of the auditor uh, but there has been uh, uh, most of the time this disagreement between the company and the auditor uh, but then finally it was decided that the originals should be kept by the auditor himself uh, or and a copy uh, should be given to the company or it could be vice versa a copy of all the audit working papers in the audit notebook or audit file should be kept by the auditor as well and the originals must be submitted to the company uh, so uh, they are kept in the company so that is how it is basically the owner of the 
uh, audit working papers and audit notebook or both the company and the auditor himself right so the auditors uh, let's read the slide if there is something new so we can discuss the auditor who collects information through working papers for his work done usually claims that he is the owner of the audit working papers on the other hand the company claims that the auditor uh, was appointed by uh, appoint, appointed uh, uh, by and he only acts as an uh, as its agent hence all documents that the auditor had collected uh, should belong to the company several cases have been referred to the court regarding this the ownership in one of the cases it was decided that the working papers belong to the auditor because he was an independent professional and not an agent of the client in other case it was held that the working papers belong to the auditor like uh, as I earlier discussed uh, basically uh, these are both the ownership of the auditor and the company uh, so they have to decide who takes the original and who takes the copy all right okay now there is another thing another rule which is called auditor lien auditor lien is basically a rule or we can say a principle and this principle says that the auditor if has not paid his audit fee has the right to keep the books of accounts and other related documents in his possession till his dues are paid such a right is called auditor lien this is the right of the auditor to keep the audit report in all the other related information with himself until and unless the company pays him his fee so one upon the payment from the company side the auditor is then uh, allowed to uh, provide the information otherwise the auditor can keep such information and this is called auditors lien thank you so much for being with me this is enough for today this is all for today's lecture god bless all of you if you have any questions please uh, come back to me with their questions uh, and i will be more than happy to help you out and to explain uh, whatever uh, was not uh, clear to you in this lecture stay home stay safe god bless all of you assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh